Hey guys, good morning from you know where, the middle of nowhere. When I say I'm in the middle of nowhere, I mean it. Man, I got a good one today. Check out this beauty. Now this is a copy of a black powder cap and ball revolver. Of course, as you know, I picked this up in a pawn shop, paid $150 for it. And I tell you what, right now this is not set up to shoot black powder. It's set up to shoot a modern cartridge. So let's go back into my shop, take a close look at this, and then we're going to come back out and shoot it. Okay, look at this, huh? Now this is a copy of the Remington 1858 New Army 44 cap and ball revolver. Now look at the condition of this. I mean this is almost like brand new. It has not had very many rounds fired through it. Made by Pieta in Italy. And with this mark right here, the CH, that tells me this was made in 2011. But look at this. Almost mint condition. There's a, a few little tiny marks on it. But whoever had this did not put too many rounds through it. So again, as you know, I paid $150 for this. And I knew instantly when I seen it I was going to buy it. Mainly because of the price and the condition. But while I was looking at it, I noticed something just didn't seem right. And then I realized this does not have the original cylinder in it. This is a conversion cylinder which will allow this black powder revolver to fire modern center fire cartridges. So I got pretty excited about uh, buying this because these are quite expensive. So you know what? Let's pull this cylinder out and I'll show you what I got. Now before I pull this out uh, the cylinder is not marked. There's no markings on it, so I did not know what caliber this was, but I knew it had to be either 45 ACP or most likely 45 long Colt. But I bought it and I, I took this home and pulled out the cylinder and I discovered that it's chambered for 45 ACP. Now this is a two-piece cylinder and what you do is you take your rounds here and has a little pin right here and a little matching hole right here. Oh, and I do want to show you each cylinder has its own firing pin. Look at that. So you put this back together line up that pin. Now you put this back in and bam she's ready to fire. Look at that huh? You will also notice it uh, has five chambers but it has ten notches around the cylinder and we'll go over those in just a minute. But anyways this cylinder was made by Hal and you know what's really cool? These cylinders cost $250. So again, I paid $150 for this with this cylinder. So a pretty good deal. The only negative is this did not come with the original black powder cylinder. And we'll talk about ammo here in just a minute. Hey, while I have this cylinder out, let me show you something. If you look down the uh, the bore, look at that. It is spotless. This has not had any black powder fired through it. Okay, to put the cylinder back in it is really quite simple. Now, if this was fully loaded, we'd put the cylinder back in and latch it. And now she would be ready to fire. Now if I load this up and I put the hammer down, if I drop this the gun could fire. So it has five uh, safety notches here so I can put the hammer in between 
uh, two cylinders. And all I have to do is uh, pull back the hammer slightly, unlock the cylinder, turn it a little bit till it latches. Now it's um, locked in between uh, two cylinders. So now if I drop this, it's not going to fire. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Let's talk about ammunition. Hal says not to use uh, jacketed bullets, and that's because these barrels are designed for uh, lead bullets. A jacketed bullet can greatly increase the pressure. So only lead bullets uh, with a velocity of 850 feet per second or less. You know, it's kind of hard to find a, a 45 ACP with lead bullets, although you can find it. But fortunately, I reload. So if you are a reloader, I have a 230 grain lead bullet with five grains of universal. And velocity should be well under 850 feet, but we will check that today. Now it is perfectly safe to fire um, modern cartridges through this, even though it says black powder only. So yeah, I, uh, I was quite happy to pick this up for $150. One last thing I want to cover before we start shooting, and that is the action on this. Now, it is unloaded, but you know, it's got a nice solid lockup on it. And uh, you don't want to dry fire these because it, it can ruin the firing pins. But the timing on it is perfect. And of course the sights on it are very crude. But you know what? You know what, it's just time to shut up and shoot. All right, so I have my earplugs in. And I've never shot these loads before out of this, so I've got my target set up at seven yards. Let's fire five rounds and see uh, where they're hitting. Just a smidgen high. I do want to mention recoil is really very mild. Ah, love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. Okay, now we're going to try it at 10 yards and I'm going to aim at the bottom of the target. Not bad, still a little high. Okay, let's see what uh, velocities we get. About 10 feet from the screen. And again, we want less than 850 feet per second. 761. 766. Ah, 733. 
nice light loads. Heck, why not? Let's see if I can hit it. Yeah, I'll take that with this. 1858 Remington. Anyways, you know, when I bought this, I thought it was going to be disappointed with the uh, 45 ACP cylinder, but I wasn't. Tell you what, I really like it. You know, pretty accurate. Um, I put a whole box of uh, ammo through this, not one single problem with it. Uh, just a good combination with the uh, revolver and the house cylinder. And yes, it is the best $150 I ever spent on a gun. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my video. Hit that like button. And we'll see you next time.